So let's start this off like this. There was a comment uh, on, on my last live video and somebody told me that I, I can't cash out a Porsche GT4 RS right now. They said I couldn't cash out a ham sandwich. And you know, they, you know that kind of response is, you know, I, I, I kind of think they're stupid to even make such a statement. Maybe you can't do it because you don't have the, you don't have a plan, you're not willing to sacrifice and you don't have any discipline. But I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly proven formula and you know, that you can do it. It's kind of the same thing that I told Fred, but you know, I can, I can tell you people what it is. It's really, it's really simple. Anybody can do it. Um, I don't understand. Why in the hell are you driving so freaking slow? That, that doesn't make any sense. Why are you creeping? In any event, listen, you need a class A CDL. This is what you need, right? And I'm going to assume that you're just starting, right? You're starting, but even if you're not starting, but you know, you got a class A CDL, you can go to Swift, Warner, Stevens Transport. I would stay away from CR England, you know, uh, Swift, I say Swift. I don't know about Warner, Stevens Transport. There may be another one or two that takes student drivers. Uh, man, I can't think of that. The trucks are orange. Schneider, right? You can do that, right? You can spend a year in that truck, you know, make all your mistakes in that truck, uh, uh, you know, learn about the business in that truck. If you can do it in six months, do it in six months. If, you, if it takes you a year, it takes you a year. You know, after that, you know, you get your own truck. Now, I can't remember all the expenses uh, that it would take. I mean, of course, you got to get the truck and get a truck note. You know, you got to save money for the down payment on the truck. You know, insurance, you know, you'll probably get somebody like Progressive, you know, $25,000 the first year guaranteed. That's what it's going to cost you for commercial insurance. Whether you drive in a van or whether you drive in a, a, a tractor trailer, 50 states, that's what it's going to cost you. $25,000, $26,000, right? That's what it's going to cost you. So, there's that. And whatever it costs you to get the DOT and the MC, right? You're going to get a factoring company. You're going to get a dispatch company, right? To dispatch you. And then you're going to pay a factoring company. You're going to give them, percent, you know, each one of them get a percentage to uh, to dispatch you and, 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 and to pay you quickly. You know, uh, they, they'll wait the 30 days to factoring company, right? Now, if you stay down and dirty and run hard, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll gross a quarter million dollars. You'll pay off that truck in the first year. I mean, because the truck shouldn't really cost you any more than $70,000. It's an old fleet truck. And hopefully don't too much go wrong with it, right? Something will go wrong with it. I mean, that's, it's just trucking. That's what it is. You're going to have to fix stuff all the freaking time. Just, you know, I mean, it is what it is, right? But you're going to have to fix stuff. So there's that, right? Quarter million, quarter million the first year gross, quarter million the second year gross. It'll take you three years, maybe four years on the outside. And in, in three years, you can gross, uh, gross now, listen to me now, gross. You can gross three quarters of a million dollars in your own truck. You're running 50 states from Maine to California, from Maine to Washington, you're running 50 states. You're getting, a, you're getting the best loads that you can, hopefully the lightest loads that you can, the best paying loads that you can, right? They say if you, if you haul uh, cars, you can knock that up to at least 325 if you're moving cars. You know, I don't know, right? So, what's the sacrifice? I mean, well, the sacrifice is, 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 is comfort, right? The discipline is, is, is not, not splurging your money, keeping your money. And the plan is, the plan is you know, to know what you're going to do with the money, you know, when you get it, because you had a plan. So, you got no kids, you got no wife, you got no girlfriend. If you got a girlfriend, you can get another one, you know, whatever. I don't know, I'll let you decide those things, right? You don't need an apartment. 
What you need an apartment for? Right, you can get rid of that. You got a car? Do you love that car? No? Man. I mean, it, it, I don't know. If you make a payments on it, continue to make payments on it. They'll just hold up the process. It'll take longer. But if you can get rid of it, get rid of it. And then you don't have to pay on it. If you got some furniture, you throw that stuff in storage. If it's not worth paying the storage fee because you got it at rent some furniture or cheapfurniturestore.com or throwawayfurniture.com you know you calculate how much that stuff is worth and how much you have to pay for, to keep it in storage and, and then you'll figure out whether or not you keep it you got a cell phone bill right hopefully you got a phone line and a data only line you got both right you don't want a hot spot from your phone it's not as good as having a data only line um and then you know and that's it you know you got a storage bill and a cell phone bill you got no kids so you got no you know you don't have to worry about kids you got no girlfriend you got no apartment if you live in that truck and you keep your money and you stay disciplined as you can about it if you can have one hundred thirty thousand dollars in two years cash right now if you want to go buy a porsche gt4 rs you can go buy a Porsche GT4 RS. If you want to buy a house, you can buy a house. If you want to start a different kind of business, you can start a different kind of business. You can do whatever the hell it is that you want to do. Uh, but don't tell me that I can't do a thing. Now, you know, once upon a time, I may have believed that he was right. But I know better. If I could save $60,000 in a year and a half, I'd know better. So, you know, I got to dismiss what you say out of hand because you're stupid. Because you don't know anything. So I just gave you a plan. If you happen if you happen to have been the person that made that comment, I just gave you a plan. So you're going to sacrifice some comfort. You're going to stay disciplined. And you got a plan. You got a plan what to do with that money. And you can get it. You can have it. Anybody can do it. The quickest way to do it is the way I said, you got no kids, you got no girlfriend. If you're a woman, you got no boyfriend, you got no kids, you don't need an apartment, you don't have a car, no, so you ain't paying insurance. You know, all the things that would take money out of your pocket. You, you're getting rid of all of that. And you just, you know, you're staying focused on your goals. So if I want to buy a Porsche DT4 RS that costs $130,000, I guarantee you, I can have it in like, I can have it in three years cash on the table now that presents a problem and that's part of my problem i am not particularly ambitious right now i don't need a muse i need someone like kennifer it's not kennifer I mean, you know all you got to do is go to my instagram page um there's a picture of kennifer that she took uh, last month on my page i mean like In any event, so, um, I'm not particularly ambitious, and lately I've been thinking, uh, you know, what is it, what is it that I value, and why do I value it? Well, I like a good handling, good running car, which is why over the last three months, over the last two months, I invested $8,000 into my other Mini. I still need about two, three thousand dollars more. And that'll be about $11,000 in like three, four months that I invested into this Mini, right? So if my friend tells me that I need a woman because I'm not really making good decisions, well, he feels that I'm not making good decisions. And if I had a woman, I would make better decisions. Well, it couldn't be just any woman. It would need to be Kennifer or a woman that hit me like Kennifer, that I desire like Kennifer. I told you the woman was hell, a hell of a motivator because I wanted to be with her. And, you know, I just had to prove myself worthy. I'm not, I'm not covering that ground anymore. But, you know, I'm, 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 I'm storing stuff, but I really got nobody to leave it to. And then, you know, another woman told me, uh, ain't no 
other woman really gonna want your mother's furniture, uh, regardless of, of, of how much it costs and how valuable it may be in X amount of years, they won't be interested. And it's a valid point. And see, since I don't have any kids, um, you know, why am I holding on to it? And uh, that's a good question. That's a question I ask myself. I thought I might leave it for my relatives, but my relatives may not appreciate it. It may not be able to hold on to it because you got to, you got to, anyway. Um, and, you know, I want a house, but I don't want a house. I want a house because I just want to drive down my cost of living when, when I retire or when I stop working or I can work less. That's all. That's the only reason why I want a house. That is the only reason why I want a house. Because if you can pay off that house, paying property taxes is a hell of a lot cheaper than paying mortgage and rent. And right now, paying a mortgage uh, and protecting yourself from rent increases, that's kind of important too. Uh, but then I ain't got nobody to leave it to, so hey. So where do you where do where do I invest my money if I if I if I get you know this kind of money you know even if I'm not terribly ambitious. Now also recently I uh, you know I turned down the job. Basically, it didn't pay anything, and you know it paid like twelve dollars an hour to move some parts you know auto parts and it it gave you free medical insurance. So they pay you twelve dollars an hour, but they give you medical uh, uh, uh vision and dental insurance all included you don't have to pay anything for it but it's twelve dollars an hour what am i going to do with twelve dollars an hour plus i give up the one thing that i want freedom freedom to, to to get go and do the things that i need to do when i need to do them and if i'm going to give up my freedom i can't give up my freedom for twelve dollars an hour and medical insurance that's just that's ludicrous so I had to, I had to I, you know I'm, I'm starting to bet on myself. That's what I'm doing. I'm starting to bet on myself. And so now I got to go out here at the age of 53 and hustle and do some things that I've never done before in life, which is you know I always kind of played the safe and 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 I would you know 10 years ago I would have took that job because it was the safe bet, and now I just don't want to do it. I can't get what I want playing it safe. You know, I know I know what I need to do. I know what I can do to get it. I don't necessarily want to do it. If I can find a way not to do it, to get back into a tractor trailer, then I'll do that. But, uh, but if not, Next year, I'll get back into a tractor trailer and, you know, I'm going to have to figure out uh, something to do, um, you know, with my mother because she's, cause she's having whatever problems that she's having, um, which is one of the reasons why I got out of the tractor trailer in the first place. Um, but yeah, so. You can save that money, you can get that money. You just gotta have a plan on what to do with the money. You just got to have a plan. You got to make some sacrifices. You gotta stay disciplined. And you can do it. You can absolutely do it. I'm not thinking about it, I'm not wish. I mean, it's not a wish. I mean, I, people are doing it. It is, it is, people are doing it. Don't tell me that I can't do it. You can't do it because you're not willing to make the sacrifices. You can't stay disciplined enough. You don't want it bad enough. And maybe you don't value certain things. I value a nice running car. I value the hell out of Kennifer. I just can't get one. Uh, I can't get her. At least I don't think I can get her. I don't know, I, want, I don't know. 
I want the woman, but I don't think I can have the woman. Um, I mean, because it takes two. Um, and so if I can't have Kennifer, I need a, another woman that hits me just like Kennifer because she will motivate the hell out of me. And I will probably make different decisions. Anyway, that's it. That's where my head's at. That's where my head's at. I'm going to make another video about uh, security. All right. See you later.